You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee, right here on LA Talk Radio. Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm in Vegas with my good buddy Jeremy Hotz. Uh, yeah. Jeremy, it uh, took me three years to get you to do this, pal. I know. I, if some, you have to ask 25 times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. you got to be diligent or else... Uh, uh, it's not going to happen. Do. Yeah, sorry, buddy. <laughs> you know I'm the laziest man in show business. Yeah, but like when I, I wrote you on email to do it three years ago... Three then, years ago, was it? Yeah. It was, I managed to delay it that long. Yeah. Thank you. Is that the record? No, Harlan, oh, Harlan was pretty... He was five years, but... All the Canadians yeah. take their time to do things. But Harlan only did it because he said that you said I was a good guy. So I really yeah, appreciate Yeah, you are that. a good guy. Oh, thank Funny you, thing is, I don't like Harlan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he started with me at the same time, right? Yeah. A little ahead, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 a little ahead. And then he moved and... Uh, he was, he was a buddy of mine back in the olden days. Yeah. You know, somebody actually won at this casino. Did you hear the bell go off? Yeah. That's the first time I've heard it all week. <laughs> at the Tropicana. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which should be renamed the Never Win. <laughs> <laughs> but no, when you first started, Norm told me that uh, uh, you guys started together, and Norm's like, I took him under my wing. <laughs> he didn't take me under his wing. Norm always does that. First of all, Norm is not a bird. He has no wings. <laughs> But he'll tell you he can fly. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, I tell him, because he's like, he's like, hey, either, uh, who are you doing shows with right now? I'm like, oh, Jeremy Hotch. He's like, oh, tell him I, I mentored him. <laughs> okay, I mentored him. We were really good friends. Yeah. <laughs> That's mentoring. Hilarious. Good but, guy. Yeah, but no, like, I really love the Canadian humor, man. It's just so funny. Well, we didn't have, we, you know, why we're like that is because we didn't have TV shows. So we, yeah. you know, where everybody was encouraged to be the same just to get on TV. Yeah. In Canada, there was no, you know, you just be as unique as possible. Yeah. That's why a bunch of Canadians moved to... Uh, the States? And you get nothing in Canada. Yeah. Nothing. Ask any of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's really the worst place for that. Because you should be on a show even in the States or in Canada. It's just like... Yeah, I've never been uh, really asked to do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because you're the funniest guy. Yeah, well, I, you know, it doesn't go by that, I guess. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I got my own thing, man. I did it myself. Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, now, I, it used to bug me a lot. Yeah. But now, you, well, then you go, well, wait a minute. I'm not on my, a show. That means that, that whatever network that's on, they can't say, hey, we don't like your show, and then just cancel it, and then you lose. <laughs> Yeah, the only person that could cancel my live show is me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, like, yeah. and then you said something at the bar that you were thinking about doing that, and that made me cry. I was like, no, don't do that. Well, don't you know, know. <laughs> well, you know, it's not for everybody. Yeah, you know, but I, it should be. You know, like. But buddy, when you get to the point where you don't really need, you know, to, you know, you, you can look at. I'm trying to keep my dog in fur. Yeah. When I know that he's going to be in fur for the rest of his life, then it becomes. Yeah. Do I need to do this? Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, but you enjoy doing. I it, do. You know? It's the other stuff. Yeah. It's the the business, the business of it, and the, and then when TV gets involved, it turns really ugly, and it's not even comedy anymore. It's actually quite dramatic. Yeah. You ever see like all these bad comics on like Conan or something? I don't like, watch those shows, oh, man. You don't? No, not anymore because the the talk show thing has gone to a weird place. I don't even understand it anymore. Yeah. And, you know, so I don't really uh, watch a lot of TV. I watch sports on TV, yeah. and I think I know why. Because you can have it on in the background and walk around and do other stuff and just listen to it. Yeah. I think just sitting there and watching TV and doing nothing is a tumultuous waste of time. Oh yeah, I agree. You know, so I just I can't do it. I got to be doing something else. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's part of my mental illness. I don't know. I can't just sit there. Mental like when people illness. go try to relax, I can't do it. Yeah. You know? Well, we, you don't have mental illness, you have anxiety. Is yeah, that, to that? the point of <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> All right, excellent. So we're back. Uh, that was a great commercial break. Oh, yeah, really? You got sponsorship? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. 
<laughs> I tried hard. How does it work anyway in the podcast world? You phone like uh, Crispy Crunch or like Reese's Pieces and try to get like, hey, you want to sponsor this thing or what I'm, do you do? I'm actually very bad at getting sponsors. Well, what, you don't know how to do it? Is that it? I don't know how to do it. I've got to maybe six or seven. What do you that. do? Go to the business? You actually show up and go listen to this podcast? Do you want to? Do you want uh, uh, Is just, that how it works? No, I just post the ads on Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Yeah. And then they'll retweet me with information and I'll send them. But I always, I don't get them to stay because I always mess up the the, pot, the sponsorships. I don't know how that works. Can you get a businessman that knows what he's doing to help you? That's what I'm trying to find. Oh, but, so yeah, that's a hard it, thing. It's all me. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like. Well, that is show business, man. You yeah. know that, right? When yeah. they go, oh, my manager's not doing this or my agent's not doing that. That's on the guy, man. you got to yeah. go out and do the thing yourself. And yeah. if it doesn't work uh, and they're not helping you, do it yourself. No, I mean, I've lost a lot like, of money on raising on the podcast, but I do it because I really enjoy comedy. I like, right. I like talking to people, you know what I mean? Well, you're good at that. You're actually personable. Yeah. You know, so. on the podcast. It's in real life that you're not. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you listen to my podcast? No, I don't listen to anything, man. <laughs> Let me, tell you, let me tell you what I do when I'm not on stage. I just stand there. That's it. Yeah. No, nah, I don't do anything. Yeah. And then people come up and go, you coming over here? And I go, no. Yeah. <laughs> and then you drink Coors Light. I drink Coors leave. Light, yes. And then you we, leave. And leave people it. think it's Bud Light or yeah. Blue Light or they never get it right. Yeah. I end up with a light beer of some sort, <laughs> but never Amstel. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Amstel is a gross tasting thing. It's pretty gross, yeah. Yeah, you've had it, right? Yeah, yeah. It has a flavor that is bitter to me. You too? <laughs> I've never tried it, but I like it. It's I've, disgusting. Yeah, I've never, because I work at Ralph's and I never sell it. You, you know? work at Ralph's? Yeah, it's from my act. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I thought you were, I didn't know you still worked there. Yeah. I got to get out of there, but I don't but know. But don't they let you just leave and do stand up anytime you want? Oh. Well, I have to request days off like two weeks in a row, unless Norm calls me like the day of. Which is every time. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have to have him call my boss. Actually, with me, at least, you get a couple of weeks notice most yeah. of the time, right? Well, yeah, there's only been a couple where it was last time. Well, second, yeah. But, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Emergencies. Yeah, but I mean, like, you, you're very good at it, but like... Well, because you, you got a job and everything. Yeah. 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 But, but, like, I think, like, deep down, that's the highlight of my manager's life is when Norm calls him, like, the day of. You know what I mean? Why? I don't know. Like, a celebrity's calling him. I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's... Like, he comes... A celebrity's to, calling him, and it's Norm. <laughs> <laughs> that kills me. Yeah. That's really funny for us, isn't it? Because yeah. we know him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, I love the guy. He's great. But um, but you did speed too. That oh, was that was nasty. Yeah. yeah. You I know see. the way all these older comics end up on cruise ships and stuff. Yeah. I can never do a cruise ship because I lived on one for six weeks while I shot <laughs> Speed Two. I'll never go on a cruise ship again. It's disgusting. <laughs> Good lord, I saw water bugs floating in the toilet. <laughs> but like, that was one of your main movies, though, in the United States. First of all, that was not my movie. It I wasn't? didn't write it. I no, didn't, but you were I was star. in it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't my movie. I uh, mean, I had nothing to do with it. They were, it was written, and I said the lines. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got kidnapped by William Defoe. Willem, Willem Defoe. Defoe. What did you call him? Defoe. William Defoe. I, I don't know. That's hysterical. <laughs> I thought you were that was funny. <laughs> William Defoe. I thought that was the bald guy on that cartoon. That was Mr. Magoo. Yeah. William Defoe. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Willem Defoe, the guy that played uh, uh, the Green Cri Christ. He yeah. played Jesus Christ in uh, the. Last Temptation of Christ. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh. So I got hit in the face with a golf club by a guy that you, that was Jesus Christ in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um. Christ hit me in the face with a golf club. <laughs> yeah. Well, these things come around. It's a circle of life, you know? I guess so. <laughs> but, like, you got... You got hit in the face by Willem <laughs> Defoe. <laughs> 
Now, did, did you uh, ever like spend one-on-one -on -one time with Sandra Bullock? Or I did. I danced with Sandra Bullock on a beach in St. Martin. She uh, was very nice. It was very. Uh, it was very. Uh, she's a very nice lady. Yeah, Sandra Bullock's like one of those celebrities that I'm deeply in love with. She was so fantastic. I was married. It was the brief time when I was married. I was married for well over a year in my life, and it was at this time. And then I, I went and I had. Um, like the, the the party where after the movie is over, it's called the the, the rap party. Right. And they had clips and from the outtakes from the movie. Uh -huh. And Sandra was there, and I felt, and I was there with my wife, and I felt a tug on my arm, and I looked, and it was Sandra. And she goes, she goes, oh Jeremy, you were so great. Look at the look at the out clips, you know. Yeah. And I looked, and then there I was in them. She goes, you're in them. And then she said, who's this? And I said, oh, this is my wife. And she goes, oh, you have an extremely talented husband. He was very good in this movie. And then she went away. Things like that. Wait, and did, then when they premiered the movie, she walked out because it was so crummy. <laughs> oh, well. I guess people change their mind. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. Like, the outtakes should have been in the movie. Like, Dude, <laughs> you know, it's so funny. It's like when you're in a movie and it has really nothing to do with you and, and people get really famous in the movies because the movie that they did was a hit. Yeah. Speed 2 was not one of those. It was because <laughs> Keanu Reeves was missing, right? He wasn't in it. Yeah. It was the other guy. Uh, Jason Patrick. Oh, geez, how yeah. do you know? Yes, it I was. Asperger's. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> My God, it was so. Jason Patrick. I don't think it had anything to do with I don't know what it was, yeah. man. I think it was that it was called Speed and it took place on a boat and it was going going about three miles an hour because it's a boat it wasn't fast it was oh look out here comes the island we're going three miles an hour how come no one jumps off the boat god that's what killed that movie yeah yeah and, and the whole time you were in the closet i was in the closet and everyone thinks i'm dead but unfortunately they find me and i have to come out and finish the movie uh, was your uh, was your you've always had anxiety? I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Well, you know that, yeah. right? Was it like that bad when you were like doing the press for the movies? No, no, no. It's stand up um, that I most that mostly gives me anxiety. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty good with the acting thing. Yeah. Because um, it's way less intense. Yeah. There's other people to blame when it stinks. Yeah. With stand up, it's just you. You're the only guy. If it's not good, it's your fault. Yeah. Well, because like with my with my Aspergers, I'm better one on one, but it's hard for me with like multiple people. Right? That makes sense. You know, like when we went hanging out at the bar, like you know, Raj, you, me, Matt, like all, right. all my buddies. I was still the quiet one. Did you, you know, like I'm just, yeah, nice. but you you're you're better uh, with with one pre one person. Yeah, that's, I'm I'm the complete opposite. Yeah, so. I'm terrible with one person. Yeah, and in large groups, I can entertain. Yeah. You're doing that's good why, right that's now. why I'm allowed to. That's why I'm. Well, we know each other. That's why I'm allowed to um, uh, continue to do stand up. Yeah. Because uh, I can do that. Yeah. But as far as living in the world and going through my day with one-on-one -on -one situations with strangers, yeah. I'm. I'm uh, not good at that. Like someone says, oh, hi, Mr. Hotch, you just walk across the street like you don't hear him. Well, first of all, <laughs> why are you calling me Mr. Hotch? How old do you think I am? So that's the first thing. That's the first thing. Yeah. My dad is Mr. Hotch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Jesus. I can't stand that. Yeah. That's so disrespectful to me. Oh, that's the same thing as saying ma'am to a woman. <laughs> yeah, they hate that. They, yeah. hate yeah. they also hate Miss. Miss they hate oh, too. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate yeah. I actually got in trouble because like at a grocery store, you know, when you're talking to people, you're supposed to say like, have a good day. You know? So I, I always say like, have a good day, ma'am. But then I said, have a good day, Miss. And they just flipped out. Like, I don't know why. What does yeah. it mean? Like you're not married, so you're cutting them down saying they can't get a husband because it's not a Mrs. It's a Miss? Yeah. Is I, that what it is? I don't know. Oh, I don't but, know either. But then like, maybe like, because if you're married, they say Mrs. That's right. Yeah. But so. if they say Mrs. So-and-so, they're fine with that. Yeah. So it must be because you're not they think you're incapable of being married, which is me, which is an outside way of saying you're you're ugly yeah. to a woman. But you right? Know, yeah, but you know, you notice how like guys don't have that miss thing. If no, they're not married. You know what I mean? Like, they, no. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, you're Mister if you're married or not. Yeah, if you're married, you're Mister. But if you're not, you're just Mister. Yeah, it's the same. I know. <laughs> that's why men cheat on women. It's confusing. <laughs> 
there, we just wrote a bit. Of, yeah. And that's and how we do it. And stuff, then we right? could like re-listen to it and then... And then say, hey, it wasn't funny. <laughs> Now, uh, when you got on Just for Laughs uh, early in your career, what was that like? Was it tougher to get on that? Cause, like, I don't know. It just happened. You remember yeah. it? Well, I was so young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just, things happen when you're young in a row. And so you just, it, it, they just gave it to me. And then when I did it, I destroyed it. Yeah. And then things changed <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I got out of Canada from Just for Laughs. I'm the Canadian comic that did it that way. Yeah. I don't think another guy has really done that yet. Yeah. Not from Just for Laughs. Yeah, yeah. That's changed that festival, I think, over the years, and I don't know if it can do that anymore, but back in the day, oh, it surely could. Oh, yeah, it I'm was proof. like the biggest credit. Oh, I'm proof, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if anyone goes, Just for Laughs can't do this and can't do that, that's garbage. No. Uh-uh, it helped Norm, it helped me, it helped Harland, it helped us all. Yeah. If you're a Canadian, I get it, do yeah. it. it. Don't listen to anybody, don't, uh, you know, they're bitter because nothing came of it, that's all. Well, you it could... can help you. Yeah, I've been trying. I believe it can. Yeah, I've been trying to get into it, I just don't know who to talk to. That's the thing, it's yeah. changed, they sold it or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I know, they sold it to someone, so, but you'll find, I don't know if it's the same people, but, yeah. you know, I hope you get it because that'll help your career. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. This place is called Luta, Red Lutus. I just noticed that. Lotus. Lotus. It's a flower. Jesus. <laughs> Lutus. What is this? God. <laughs> I, I have a speech stutter. No, I'm you a, don't. <laughs> you're not paying attention. God. <laughs> no. Okay. I love the way you hide behind Asperger. <laughs> That's why I call you Asperger Charlie, because you use it yeah. as a thing, you know? That was the first thing you called me. Yeah, well, I, was, I introduced you as that, yeah. No, 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 I was the headliner, and you were middling, and then yeah. some other guy, that little guy. Yeah, yeah. He was a nice kid. I forget his name. Uh, Mike Kano. Yeah, he's a nice kid. He, yeah. he emceed, and then uh, I went out and said, and he was tiny, yeah. and I'm ugly. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I went, I went this is my face, and they all laugh because I'm not... And I go, you must be having a great time. <laughs> First thing you see is, what did I say? I don't remember what you called him, but you, you said well, something. Well, he was a shrimp. Yeah. He was like five foot one or something. Yeah. And, and I was ugly, so an ugly guy, a shrimp, and Asperger Charlie. And they died at that. Because <laughs> you went out and said, I got Asperger's, I do this and do that. And yeah. then, you know, yeah. And they knew we were friends already from your act. So yeah. I said, and Asperger Charlie, and then you died laughing. Yeah, and I died because I don't think I ever told you, but my legal name is Charles. Yeah, you did tell me that, so I actually <laughs> looped the Charlie part. <laughs> and and now, now some of your closest friends even call you Asperger Charlie. It kills me. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. And I'm always like, well, Hot started that. Hot started it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Drew, the sound guy, writes me all the time. He's like, we sh uh, I should make an Asperger Charlie's show. It's really funny. Yeah. Remember you killed that wig? Yeah. You had a great time. That was and awesome. that guy that worked for the soccer... What, what did he... What was he? He was the equipment manager for a soccer team or something? Yeah, something the, the sports, sound guy. Yeah. yeah, sports or something. Yeah. Like, but some team that was a team, like a real special... Like, like a legit a, team? Yeah, a legit team or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, he did something, that guy. Does he still work at the, uh, what was that, Brea Improv? Am yeah, I mistaken? His, yeah, his or name's... Or Irvine. It was Brea. It was Brea. Okay. Yeah, his name's Drew. I don't remember him doing anything about that, but I remember that he always videotaped, like, independent movies and stuff. No, not that guy. The guy that was managing the club. Oh, Corey. Wasn't Cody, he some... Cody, He was like a Marine guy. Marine, that's yeah. what it was. It wasn't sports. He yeah. used to be in the Marines. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and then he was telling us the story how his plane got shot down. Yeah, no, yeah. it's horrible. Yeah. And he got screwed up, right? Yeah, and then they placed him to work at the Improv. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, he works at the Improv because he's... What did they... They shot at him or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Jesus. Yeah. But at least he gets to see great comics, man. And he's got a job and he's fine and no one's shooting at him anymore. Yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. That was fun though, man. Uh, Mike Mike actually texts me every now and then. He's like, when are we going to do Bray again, you, me, and Hots? Because you keep saying we're going to do it, all three of us, and then we haven't done it since. 
Well, you know me, yeah. right? Because I do internationals, and then it gets all screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, I do the those ones at the end when I don't have anything other yeah. to... You understand that, right? No, no, I know. Yeah. I just remember... I just think it's funny because Mike always texts us, man. You know? He's like... Because we had a really good time, man. It was, it was a great fun. Show. Yeah, yeah, people don't understand that. When you actually do a week and you, everyone has a really good time and the comics get along, you like to do it again with yeah. the same people because you had a really good time. Yeah. We do better when we're comfortable in between the shows. Oh, yeah. When we're not on. We have the best when it's all yeah. off the shows. Yeah. I mean, you drink the Coors Light, I drink the Diet Coke and the Grenadine. But that's right, you drink a weird Asperger drink. <laughs> Maybe that's what's causing your problems. <laughs> Maybe what that concoction is is liquid Asperger's. <laughs> <laughs> you stop drinking it and you figure it out. Hey, don't drink this. Yeah. <laughs> and you solve it completely. And, right, and, how, and then you broke your arm. How's that doing? Is it? Oh uh, uh, yeah, I shattered my shoulder. Yeah. Broke my arm is the so underplayed thing of it. Yeah. I almost lost my arm yeah. from right. falling. That's what happens in this world. Yeah. And I thank God I had the proper health insurance for America. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have an arm, probably. Why? What do you mean? They wouldn't well, have... I smashed the rotator cup there on the side. Oh. So it had to be completely repaired. Yeah, and yeah. because it shattered the cup part, the elbow, po- the shoulder popped out and ran to the other side of my body. Yeah. And then they had to take two operations to get it back into where it belonged in the first place. Yeah. And I... after the second one, the first thing I did was feel for my arm. Yeah. Yeah, because I heard on the after the, I, I, you know, uh, before the second operation, he goes, after this, we're going to have to be really careful because there's no third operation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a scary thing to hear, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's like going to the doctor and, and hearing, hey, you better stop doing this or you're going to die. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. That actually happened to me. I went to the doctor and the doctor said, Keith, you have a bad heart. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. I was like, because earlier today I helped an old lady walk across the street. I think I have a good heart. That's funny. <laughs> did you try that in, 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 in your act ever? Yeah, I tried it this week. And did it work? It worked one show. And then it, it's so funny when yeah. you're busting in something new. Just keep it going and see if you can get that sound and rhythm to... That's the thing that gets them to laugh every time. Yeah. It's not the actual joke. It's the rhythm. And if you get the best way of delivering it, you'll... You'll get a laugh for it, so I wouldn't drop that. Oh no, it's a it's a great joke. Yeah, keep keep trying it. Yeah, I try to write like five new jokes a week. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? And I try to perform them as much as I can, but then like I'll forget them and then I'll remember them after I perform. Sure. You know what I mean? That happens. It sucks. It's well, the worst feeling. That's okay though, because yeah. you're gonna go on again. Yeah. And you're gonna try it again, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, but did you ever have that problem when oh, you were starting out? All the time, man. Yeah. You know, so. my act changes from show to show because I can't remember it. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's always a genius. He makes this up and half to. I can't remember the damn shit I wrote. <laughs> God damn it! That happens. Yeah. You know, ever, ever since your arm, you probably don't even write. You just write in your head now, right? Well, I don't write. <laughs> I never wrote with my hand. Are you kidding me? As a matter of fact, my arm after I fell down, it, my 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 penmanship has improved. <laughs> It's better now. <clears throat> uh, I got a metal piece in my arm controlling how I write now. <laughs> did, did they really put a metal thing in you? It's titanium, I guess, is some kind of metal. Oh, I don't know. They yeah. use it on the spaceship. Those always fall out of the sky. <laughs> oh, man. Then you did My Favorite Martian. That was... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, my film resume is vast and littered with failure. No, but you work with great people. Like, I did. Yeah. I did, doing their worst movies. <laughs> yeah. How lucky am I? <laughs> but yeah, you... that was another smash hit because no one remembered the original, but they went, hey, let's do the movie. Yeah. yeah. How come no one's going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because of Jeff Daniels. Because the that people was awesome, though. Yeah, but the people who saw, you know, My Favorite Martian when it was a TV series are dead. <laughs> That's why they're not coming to the movie anymore. <laughs> Because they died from old age. Yeah. Oh God. Did you ever watch the originals? No, it was before my time. Yeah. Wasn't it before? Well, it was before yours. Yeah, yeah. But it, yeah it was before my time. Even. Yeah. That was a show from like the 60s, wasn't it? The early 60s, no? I don't remember. It was in black and white when it first came out. I didn't so, see it. So it might have been the 40s. I don't know. Yeah. Not the 40s, no. They wouldn't be doing space stuff in the 40s. All they were doing is what they do today, detective stories. (laughs) 
That's mm-hmm. true. Uh, yeah. Television has not evolved at all. Yeah. They do the same ideas, and they except rotate. they're in color now. Yeah. Wow, how radical. <laughs> And an interesting thing about you that a lot of people don't know is uh, you, there's a story that you were on a plane and you walked by a guy who was laughing and you told him to stop laughing. Oh, that's right. And then uh, he was uh, listening. He was really loud. It was really annoying. <laughs> and then I looked over at what he was laughing at on the TV and it was me. <laughs> It was me doing stand-up from, yeah. like, a Just for Laughs thing had been sold to the airline. And the guy was, so I couldn't tell him to shut up. I had to listen to his god-awful laugh the entire flight because it was me that was causing it. But, but, but I looked at the screen and I waited. And as soon as he started watching, like, a sitcom and laughing, I tapped him on the back and said, Hey, you want to keep it down, man? <laughs> That must have made his night, though, because, like, you know, you were right behind him. No, I don't think he even recognized it. <laughs> and that is the problem with my career. You go, that's the funniest guy I've ever seen, and you completely forget me. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, but how did that make you feel that he was laughing, and then you were, like, you kind of, like, feel like... Screw just for laughs, man. I'm never, I, you know, <laughs> yeah. why would you wreck this flight for me? <laughs> I don't care about anything like that, man. No. No. Oh, man. But screw just I remember. I, I remember that. That was terrible. Yeah. You, you also collect uh, bad cinema. I do. Yeah. I have a vast collection of the worst movies ever made. Yeah. The real worst movies ever made. Not the ones you see on Mystery Science Theater, whatever thousand they're up to now. Yeah. You know? Uh, no. So I had really weird, like posters of films that you've never. I collect the posters. Yeah. I have some stuff. You know, the Sinful Dwarf poster that I have is extremely rare. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, Ilsa She Wolf of the SS. I have the German poster of that wow. film that was shot in Canada, and because it's the German poster and she's a Nazi, that's completely inappropriate. Yeah, I have that. It's very rare as well. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, how many uh, of these films do you have? Like, do you, if you were to guess, three like hundred. How, how many of the actual films do I have on DVD? Yeah. About uh, oh no, more than that. More than three hundred. Oh yeah, about fifteen hundred. Wow. Yeah, of the actual worst. Yeah. Some of them are dubbed, huh? You never would see them. They're made. They're Italian or something. Yeah. Yeah. But you, but you enjoy watching? Oh, they're hilarious. They're unintentionally hilarious. Yeah. Or if the, they're not, they don't end up in the collection. If they're just bad and like... Yeah. Yeah, they end up in the collection only if they have some humoristic uh, comedic value. I saw this really bad movie once. I don't remember what it was called, but it had the funniest joke. Yeah. It was like this butler was putting... Um, Peter... Peter um, Falk was in it. Yes. The old guy? Yes. And this... Columbo. The, yeah, yeah. Yes. Is that what it was? He was Columbo. Yeah. On this TV series, a detect- detective show. <laughs> so the, the butler's like, yeah, uh, you're going to stay in this house where someone was murdered. And they're like, how'd they get murdered? And they're like, well, they hung themselves. And they're like, you mean suicide? Oh, no, it was murder. <laughs> like, that was the butler's joke. I just thought it was funny. That's from the cheap detective. Yeah, I oh, believe. Is that, is yeah, that, that is has a lot of jokes in it. There don't <laughs> yeah. fly today on any level. I know, but like it was. I mean, there's a a, a racial slur in that one that I will not repeat on this. But oh, no. It's in that movie, and it's uh, about a Chinese launder laundry. Right. And they find a ticket in the guy's pocket, and Peter Falk has the most racial racially inappropriate line I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Yeah, but that was but like the jokes are just so like that you know it's it's quick one-liners yeah. that are really bad sometimes and just uh, <laughs> like are, even for the time I think they weren't uh, appropriate. They are bad, but it's so funny because they're acting like it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, there were big stars in the Chief Detective. Yeah. Yeah. No, there were. They got a legitimate cast, and I guess someone just told them, "Yeah, this is funny," and then they did it. <laughs> Because they weren't comedians, they didn't know. No, no, this is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you have that one on DVD? No, that's a too well produced. <laughs> that has production values, and you never see a boom mic in the shot. No, yeah. no, uh, no, no, no. And there's no monkeys in it. No. no. <laughs> you want to make a movie bad? Put a monkey in it. <laughs> the Curious George. <laughs> that's a cartoon. Yeah. 
But I think they made a movie out of it too. I'm sure they did. Yeah. yeah. Like, why was this? Uh, they're like, why did this movie bomb? I don't know. I'm curious. <laughs> Listen to you go. <laughs> I'm on a rampage. Hopefully these jokes work. Oh, they'll work. What are yeah. you talking about? Seven fifteen already. Yeah. Yeah, we got man. A show to do, buddy. We do got a show, so we got to wrap it up, man. Yeah, we got a show to do. So uh, you're doing this huge Canadian tour where you're going to film another special. Yeah. I got to film a special, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm shooting it in Ottawa, Canada, which is the capital and where I was brought up, although I was not born there, but I was brought up there. Um, it's my hometown. Yeah. That is, I, I will, will never be in it. There, uh, everyone goes, oh, he's from LA. He's he, well. He was from Cape Town. Yeah, it's it, Ottawa yeah. is where I'm from. You know, yeah. That's why they call me a Canadian comic. I came out of Canada. I mean, I was one when I moved from South Africa. You know, yeah. so yeah, I'm I'm Canadian. I live in the states because, well, because <laughs> because of comedy, pretty much. <laughs> so you're getting ready to do that. And so I get to play the big rooms, like the like the you know the Tropicana in Vegas, and uh, you yeah. know. I get to be on the big sign in front of the place that, you know. Yeah. And, and like uh, everyone sees your picture and then like... It's they come like, to the show because yeah. there's a lot of Canadians that come to Vegas. Oh, no, there is. Oh, yeah. yeah and the next time I do it, I'm, I'm hoping to do it in February or January when Canadians come to Vegas uh, for the weather, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I talked to Harry about that and uh, we're, we're planning on doing that. A lot oh. of Canadians come here. That'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be really good. Boy, but I can't come again this time of year because it's a, it's 108. Oh, my God. Jeez. It's oh. like Africa hot, man. And then, jeez, I don't know. Wow. I have to do all the walking late at night. Dude. You know, like... It doesn't even come down really yeah. that much at night. It's, no. like, crazy. No. I had to walk all the way to the CBS right there. And uh, it's, like, two miles. Really? Yeah, but I did at night. So, and then I was thinking, thank God I didn't do it during the day because I don't know if I would have made it. You know what I mean? It's that bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know because I got the dog here, so all I do is uh, take him out, and if he wants to come in real quick, it's real hot. Yeah. You know. All right. Well, we'll leave on this. But uh, you know, I was telling you I was writing jokes today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to read a couple and see if you liked it. Sure. Whatever. What do you got? All right. Because I want to try it on the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I was walking down the strip, and this uh, guy came up to me. He was like, "Hey, I got some coke." And I was like, "Excellent. Do you have any water?" Uh. Okay. Right. Give it a try. Alright. And then like uh now nah, this one uh, it's too oh, hit long. Me with it. Here. Okay. So like oh. this is like an impression of me having a uh, phone sex, you know? Like the girl's like, So what are you doing? I'm like, Oh, watching Jerry Springer And she's like, Oh, you should be lying on your bed relaxing I was like, Okay. And she's like, So what are you doing? I was like, still watching Jerry Springer. She's like, What are you thinking about? I was like, I'm wondering if Chad is gonna choose to be with Trisha or Marcia. And they're like, and she's like, who's Chad? I was like, the person on Jerry Springer. And she's like, you should be thinking about my double D's and my tight firm ass. I was like, okay. And she's like, what would you do if I was there? And I was like, you'd probably be watching Jerry Springer. I wouldn't go that. I wouldn't go that far. You got to get to the end of that quicker. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I know how to do it. Talk faster. Ah. Uh, there you go. I'm not a fast talker. I know. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know how to get there. You ever talk so fast and then like your mouth gets really dry? You know like, what I mean? Sometimes you talk so fast the words don't come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it happens. And then you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> kind of like this whole podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much for doing it, man. I mean, three years. This is awesome. I know. Yeah. Three years. I and mean, you never do interviews. So no, I is, don't. Yeah, so this is a real treat. I don't do interviews. Yeah. I don't really like to hear the sound of my my voice. I'm really, I've never really been a Jeremy Hotz fan. What? Yeah, I don't like me. Oh, I love you. Part of the disease. Ah. Uh, yeah. You know what I tell everyone who my three favorite comics are? And ever since I started, I swear to God, like, uh, on my pop's life. Yeah. You know? My three favorite comics. Ready? Norm MacDonald, Jeremy Hotz, David Spade. I'm second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, See how I take compliments uh, yeah. poorly. Yeah, but I mean, like, I've never seen you bomb. You know? I've always seen you kill. Oh, but I always bomb in my mind, so don't yeah. worry about that. Yeah, but like, yeah. you are the one comic that I've never seen bomb. Yeah, but I do. I always think I do crummy when I do well. No, oh, you do great. That's a terrible feeling, though. Is it? Yeah, I'm working on that with a psychologist. I don't like getting off stage uh, after everyone going, you killed, you killed, and feeling that deflated, I bombed feeling. Oh. I don't know why that happens, but it is because I'm crazy. Do you think that I got, wor that I got worse with the arm, maybe? 
the arm when I fell it you know it uh, I saw I had appetite issues and I uh, couldn't eat and uh, uh, I don't know I mean they seem to think it's the they seem to think the arm is setting off the anxiety but they're not a hundred you know they don't know yeah it's just the medication that I'm on it seems uh, uh, isn't doing the same thing that it used to all of a sudden uh, since the accident yeah. so no one's going we're gonna change this we're gonna change that we're waiting because yeah. no one really knows yeah well you still kill when you think you bomb you don't bomb you kill sure and it you know if I can and I'm doing some of the work with this anxiety it's not like just being a little anxious. People don't understand. It's a whole thing that is... Yeah. I got to get around myself to get on stage every time. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. where can the folks at home follow you on, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Well, they're all just Jeremy Hots. Yeah. You know, the Twitter is at Jeremy Hots. Your Facebook is the miserable... That's, yeah, what is it? What is the, the Facebook the one? The Miserable Jeremy Hots. No, Miserably Hots. Yeah. Is or I, Jeremy Hots, the other one too. I have both. I have two pages there. Yeah, but that's your personal. It doesn't matter. Oh, you don't Who care? Who cares? Oh, all yeah. right. Cool. If you're a fan of me, I don't care which one, which page you're. Just get on one of them and then you'll get the jokes that I do online. Yeah. I'll send you the stuff. Yeah. Or you'll just go on and see it, you yeah. know? Yeah. All right, cool. Man. Yeah, a lot of people can't find me because I really don't self-promote at all, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, like I said, I'm against this whole Jeremy Hotz career thing. <laughs> I'm not. I think Jeremy Hotz needs to stay in comedy as long as I live. You know what I heard? You know, it's because people online are so weird. They're they say trolls. such mean things and, and, and horrible things sometimes. Like one guy goes, I've never seen your act, but I know you're a crummy comic with the fake last name Hotz. And I, I, I wrote back to him, why don't you call my mom, you Loser, Mrs. Hots. What the hell? <laughs> like I made the name up, and the guy's going, "I'm never. You're you're a bad actor. He's never seen me yeah. because I made the and I didn't. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. For, and then there's the who are you anyway? And why are you even? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. I, I, well, I've never done that to any one of you. That's insane. Yeah. Whatever. Sorry. I get angry. No, no, it's all right. It was hilarious. All right. Well, follow Jeremy Hodge. Jeremy, thank you so much for doing it, buddy. I love you, you bet, very man. much. And uh, and now you can't say, hey, you going to be my podcast anytime soon? Because I did it. So lay off. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Uh, if you like the show, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. We're trying to get to 100. It's at Raise the Rifts. And uh, thank you so much, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Love you very much, man. You're listening to Razor Riffs with Keith Razor and Alan Lee right here on LA Talk Radio.